200 years, the Parthenon marble is dating back to the 5th century BC. On the Parthenon in the Acropolis, they were removed in the early part of the 19th century by Lord Elgin, brought back to Britain and then sold to the British Museum. And from 1832, just after Greece got independence from the Ottoman Empire, they started saying, these must come back. Partly they belong on the Parthenon, they are great parts of the Greek culture, they belong in the nation, but also the argument was Lord Elgin did not have any authority to remove them. He claimed to have a letter, no one has been able to find this letter, and therefore they were really essentially, the Greeks would say, looted. And ever since then, they have been repeatedly saying, these should come back, they belong in Athens, in the Parthenon, where they belong. And so as it stands at the moment, there's talk of this loan deal because the law doesn't allow Britain uh, to give treasures away, even if even if they wanted to. Yes, the British Museum Act of 1963 says the British Museum cannot give items back unless they have a duplicate in the collection. Of course, you don't have a duplicate of the pardon on marbles, so they are restricted by the law. Now, the law can be changed. The government said it's not going to. So really, uh, the only answer is to give them with a loan. And that we understand these secret discussions are, the secret discussions between the British Museum and the Greek side are about a loan. Now, that, I think, would be very significant if they do go back on, under a loan, they're displayed in the Parthenon. I think that is going to open the door to other loans in the British Museum and also really opening this question, should the British Museum Act be changed so that they can actually be sent back? And even things like, I mean, Benin bronzes have been given back, although the British Museum have, have still got some, haven't they? Um, the Crown Jewels is a very contentious one, isn't it? Um, if treasures are given back or even loaned, people will come for the Crown Jewels next, potentially, won't they, giving them back to India? There are many items in the British collections that countries are saying they should go back. One of these is within Crown Jewels. It's the Kohenor diamond in what is usually the Queen Consort's crown. This is claimed by Afghanistan, by Pakistan, by India. Uh, it's very controversial. They've been asked about it before the British government, and David Cameron said, no, we're not giving that back, because if we do, everything will have to go back from the British Museum. Now, that, I think, is increasingly, over years to come, going to be re-value. People are going to be saying... Well, actually, if a country is asking for it to be back, shouldn't it go back? And certainly it should go back on a loan. And certainly in terms of the Benin bronzes, which were actually looted, they do belong back where they were taken from. Kate Williams, thank you so much for that. Really interesting. Thank you.